good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. The texts say that Inquisitor Emeridan was a dragon hunter who vanished on his last expedition. Yes, precisely. I see you've read Lautrec's Precursors to the Chantry. Inquisitor Emeridan stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. Scout Harding, you had me at equipment. Thought you might like that. Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Emeridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. I thought we could catch up. Anytime, Inquisitor. They say you grew up in a village. Where did you learn how to fight? Draw a bow? All that? Here and there. You pick things up as a little dwarf girl in a village filled with piggish Ferelden boys. I'm no artist with a blade. I just know what hurts and what takes them down quick. Bruised a shin or two in my day, and a few, you know, other things. <laughs> and archery? Oh, there was a traveling hunter who set me up with my first bow and taught me the basics. After that, I practiced on my own. <laughs> on squirrels, mostly. Oh, and Heinrich from next door, but only with padded arrows. I hear you have family in Ferelden. Yes, my mother and father. I insisted they move to Denerim once I signed up with the Inquisition. Ambassador Montillier tells me I should invite them to Skyhold. She thinks they'd be proud of me. But after Haven, I, I just can't, you know? It's not that I don't trust you or our soldiers. It's just, I just want them to be safe. And if that means they don't get to see things firsthand, that's okay. My mother likes writing letters anyway. What do you think about the Avar? When I was a little girl, a lady in our village used to tell me Avar tales. Being able to see their lives up close, it's nothing like I thought. They're very tall, aren't they? I was considering a proposal for Commander Cullen. Avar allies with dwarven archers astride their shoulders. They'd be unstoppable. Have you spoken to Kenrick much? A bit. He's quite nice, isn't he? And clever, really loves his books. I said hello one day while he had his nose buried in a giant tome. His shriek was a winner. <laughs> I can't stop doing it now. <laughs> it's too funny. How do you like the Frostback Basin? It's lovely, isn't it? At least until you step in a pile of bogfisher poo. The stuff's vile. It makes great fuel for starting fires, though, if you can tolerate the smell. <sighs> I might suggest that to the commander. It could be great for sieges. You want to use animal crap as a weapon. That seems underhanded. Who said war was fair? I'd only recommend its use as a last resort. We defeated Corypheus. I thought you'd have returned to your old life. After everything I've seen, I don't think I could ever go back to my old life. Could you? I can't just pretend. I can't just pretend I'm the same person. I got a letter from my mother. She was happy the breach was sealed. She had no idea what we went through. And I don't have the heart to tell her. We'll continue this another time. Safe travels.